So today I am going to show you how to curl your hair with flat iron. Um, but first, I, my hair is really dirty. I've not washed it in probably two days. So to get your curls to set the best with flat iron is you have clean hair. So I'm going to take a shower and I will be right back. Okay, so here I am um, wearing my favorite uh, Harper James t-shirt. You, they're a small boutique. You can find them on Facebook. Um, so my hair is washed up in this very fancy uh, towel. So I am going to dry my hair and put some makeup on and I'll be right with you to show you the flat iron technique. So just part of, I don't, I'm like, I am a mom. We have small children to buy things for. So I use drugstore products only. This is the Garnier Fructis uh, Leave-In. It's the Shine and Sleek. I'm sure it has alcohol in it, but girl, whatever. So I always like to do a flip and rub it through all of my little hair. Because I feel like when I have to blow dry my hair, which I don't do very often, um, it gets really, really dry. So I like to add some extra oomph in it. This is mane and tail, super fancy um, detangler. I actually, for the school year, I spread some of my roots. Um, in the school year, I add some tea tree oil in there because I am terrified that my children are going to bring home lice. And then we'll be like the family with bald children and no sheets because everybody has lice and it's super disgusting. So brush my hair, brushing. Okay, see, so it just goes right through, super easy, because you don't want tangles when you are trying, oh my God, it is missing a piece already. So Wet n Wild Beauty Blender, I've had it for three days. It's, you can see it's like missing a piece. Did the dog eat it? Did the kid eat it? I don't know. So I'm using a uh, Milani, Two in one foundation and concealer. I uh, just saw Jeffree Star using this. I'm going to put it on my hand. Now, this stuff is really thick and it's much better than what I had been using. Um, my under eye, God, now I am like really freaking tired all the time. I hope they like pat it in there. Okay, so already much better. Like a little goes a really long way. I'm just gonna keep packing it in. So ideally, you know, moms with small children, we don't really get a lot of time to do what we wanna do. So this is kind of my little way of doing me time. I don't like massages, I don't like facials, I like to go for runs, and I am trying my hand at makeup now. So it's just kind of a fun little thing that you can do. There, and you can tell, like before, you know, it's like looking really much better. Um, you can see I have some redness here, my skin is pretty sensitive, so, um, haven't noticed that this clogs my pores or anything so I'm just gonna you know I'm just gonna keep putting it on oh just patting it for all of time and we'll see how it covers all of this red make sure I go up here I'm really trying to like smush it into my freaking face my tired mom face like girl cover my wrinkles I think it just last time I put this on it settled in my wrinkles and I wasn't super in love with that but I think I'm going to kind of like I know you're probably not supposed to do this I'm going to like rub it in there I don't know whatever we'll see okay so here's like well okay it's not that bad on the camera but in life like you can totally see all of my wrinkles, all of my pores. It's, I don't know, it's frustrating. So obviously don't forget your neck. Take it down, 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 down. Okay, so my foundation is on. I'm just 
to make sure that it's all in there. Um, before I took a shower, I um, took a small little um, razor like this. Okay, it's a little lid. I got this at Walgreens um, to do my mustache, my cheeks, so that I don't have any hair. You can totally see every hair when you do your makeup if you're hairy and half Hispanic like I am. Um, this is like not super fancy. So this is Neutrogena powder. Um, it is micro clear technology. Honestly, this is probably expired. Um, my hair beauty guru is all over the world, rolling their eyes at me. Uh, guys, this doesn't even have um, an expiration date on it. Oh, cool. Anyways, um, I have this cute uh, total face brush from e.l.f. and I just kind of like swirl this and I pat it on top of that two in one like this just kind of all over now if you have dogs and you have big dogs you happen to have a golden retriever in your house you know they ate everything so my golden retriever actually ate my highlighter brush um, which is fine. It's like whatever. So I'm using this Milani. Um, this is Barry Ray's Color Harmony Brush Palette. So I I really like this because it kind of just does everything that I need it to do. Um, it's really, really beautiful. Um, I love Milani. So you can, I don't know if you can see that, but on my hand, it's like shiny, kind of golden. So I take this brush, because I don't have a highlighter, and highlighter brush, so I swirl, 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 and I don't know if you can see that, oh, so delightful. So I'm going to um, make a fish face, like that, blend it, blend it, blend, blend it, blend it, turn it over to sleep, tip tap, I like to do underneath my chin, because like, I have double chin, so that like, kind of hides the double chin, and then just a little bit up here in the eyes. This is really in. That is it. So, um, here's my hat. Eyebrows, like also super not even fancy. Uh, this is a Maybelline eye contour brush, and this is a Maybelline eyeshadow palette. So I take this brown color and I fill in my eyebrows because in the early like 2000s, it was like that trend where you had like super thin eyebrows. So they don't grow back in all the way anymore. So I am just going to take this and kind of sweep it in. The goal of here for me is to not make them bigger or darker, it's just to get them to look full. Over this way, I think maybe I'm starting to have gray hair, which I'm like, I'm fine, I'm here for it. Gray hair is cool, super cool. Okay, gray hair is fine. So my eyebrows are filled in. I take this tiny, cheap eyebrow brush thing. I don't know, I found it at Walmart. Um, it's pretty, <laughs> so I like this part and I kind of like sweep this in a bit. Now, okay, do I do this every day? No, I do not. There is like an abbreviated version of what I do for my makeup. Um, we could do that maybe like on a work day. What I do, this is like a weekend, I'm playing, I'm going to show you my hair. Um, my hair is like super beautiful. So, So for mascara, ooh, there's a spider. Cute. Okay, guys, keeping it classy here. Um, I wish, I wish I had expensive mascara. This is Maybelline Push Up Drama. Um, I only buy drugstore makeup. I don't buy um, expensive shit. Okay, <laughs> I just, I just don't. So I am going to put my mascara on. I do not wear eyeshadow. I wear glasses. Um, I do not, let me use the mirror. I do not want to wear contacts, so I don't. Now, 
as you can see, I already have a little bit of mascara ooh, on my under eye right here. So that is kind of my one complaint about drugstore. Maybe I'm also just really bad at putting mascara on. That could be it. Mm, it's burning. So the key is to like not get mascara on your eyeball, obviously. <sighs> I love mascara. It's kind of like the thing that doesn't matter. You could be wearing no makeup and it kind of just gives you that little like extra boost that you need. So I don't love this formula. Um, there is another, I'm gonna just like push this in there. There is another Maybelline, and I always do my bottom lashes, guys, okay? There is another formula by Maybelline I like better. Uh, this one, <laughs> Real Life was on sale. The other one that I like was not. So, oh, see, shit, god damn it, whatever. It's, you know, like I said, I think I might just be really bad at putting mascara on, but, you know, I am getting it done. Okay, it's a little clumpy. It's a little clumpy. You can kind of see, <laughs> looks a little bit like um, spider lights. Right, so I am going to rummage around in this drawer and get a Q-tip. Do not put these in your ears. They're not for your ears, okay? And I'm going to very gently try and, oh my God. Nope, no, you guys, okay? Now I look like fucking Bucky the Winter Soldier. God damn it. Okay, so that's cute, guys, okay? I just wiped my makeup off. It's everywhere, it's everywhere. Ugh. Use my stupid face. Oh my god. Okay, so um, so I'm gonna just like sweep it because it was burning my eye. Okay. Okay, so uh, you can tell. So I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and kind of like <laughs> try and salvage this <laughs> bullshit. Oh my god. Okay, so oh, I've seen Jeffrey like pat his shit in with his beauty blender. So let's do that. Did it okay so here's me with makeup on jeez I'm not gonna put lipstick on because I have to blow dry my hair so I'm going to blow dry my hair what I do when I blow dry my hair is you saw me I put um that leave-in conditioner in I actually flip my hair upside down and I blow dry it like that I feel like it gives me more volume I have a lot of hair it's not fine it's not coarse it's just hair it doesn't necessarily do what I want it to do now, when I'm blow drying my hair, I always plug in my flat iron so it heats up. I have a flat iron that you can change the temperature on. Um, I do it just like a medium heat. You do not need a lot of heat with a flat iron. Um, it will fry your hair. So I will be right back after I blow dry my hair. on the side so I brush it down and with my fingers because it doesn't have to be like straight you guys just kind of I do it like that so you said my hair looks really beautiful it's really shiny it's really really soft right now Ooh, little tangles just be very gentle okay so that's perfect okay that is beautiful. It's perfect. So now your hair is completely dry. As I was drying my hair, my uh, flat iron has been heating up. So this one is like super old. I got it in college. I've had it for 12 years. 12 years. I don't even think this is a real brand. This is called a Her Styler. Um, it goes up to 200 degrees. 
Celsius. That sounds really hot. Um, mine's at like mm, <laughs> 100, maybe, probably. So anyways, that's been heating up. Um, I like this little clip. So I just, guys, it's really easy. I just part it in the middle. So I have two different sides I'm going to do. So I always do the, um, the heavier part side first. This side, you just kind of leave it alone. Like, she's cool. She'll chill. She'll, she'll. Let me fix the angle on this. If people actually see this, then maybe I'll like, figure out how to really like, doing this. Oh my god, you guys. Okay. That's, yeah. That's good. That's good. Okay, so, I'm going to make sure you brush it. Brush it. We don't want any tangles because it'll get stuck in the flat iron. I just kind of, I take it at the ear, I should pull it out of my industrial, and then I'm going to brush this, brush this, and then I just twist it, and then I'm going to pin it up here out of the way. So you kind of look like a crazy person, that's like totally fine. Now, the key to flat iron is not product, it is not, um, it's not really anything. You just have to be super patient because you can't even do, you have to do it like this much. Um, what is that? It's probably like half an inch sections. So you're going to take your flat iron, you just put it up close and you wrap it. And you gently, gently, if you see if that's steam, it is not smoke. You just gently and make sure it doesn't fall out of those two hot plates. Gently, gently, gently pull it all away. Sometimes it'll get stuck right at the end. Pull it all the way. And then you see, you see this, you guys. Twirl it. Twirl it, twirl it. See, this is perfect, okay? It's exactly what all of them need to look like. Just twirl it around your finger. It's beautiful. You do not spray, do not spray your curls. Girl, do not spray your curls, because it is hot. It needs to cool completely. So you're going to brush, always be brushing. This takes a long time, okay? And then again, Take a tiny section. Now, some people start way in the back. I just kind of grab pieces from the section I'm working on and kind of go from there. I think it makes the curls look really pretty. Um, again, that is just steam, leftover steam, that I, like water that I did not blow dry out of my hair. My hair is not on fire. If you get really worried about your hair, you can use, and I probably should use, um, like a heat protectant. You can get them at the drugstore. Um, one that I had used, I think was like, I don't know, it was black. Maybe it was Tresemme. Like, come on, Tresemme. So, honestly, like, I put it really close to my scalp. I wait until I feel it burning me a little bit and I'm using my camera as my mirror and I'm pulling it see how it's sticking out of the bottom just pull it gently gently down see they're perfect to try really really hard not to run your fingers through these curls until you have curled all of your hair. So if you have sectioned your hair properly, you'll have one piece that might be a little bit thicker than normal. Mm, it's not that bad. Okay, if you're worried about it, take it into two sections. I am not because I have curled my hair with this specific iron many times and I know that I'm gonna get a really good curl out of this piece. Again, that is just steam. 
and you pull it all the way down. And that is the first section. And as you see, I have a lot of hair. So I'm going to, um, you know, spend some time curling my hair and then we'll be back after they're all done. <laughs> Okay guys, my hair is curled. Um, now, as you can tell from the time lapse, like some of them did not work the first time around. So you have to let them dry though before you can give it another like moment with that flat iron. Otherwise you're gonna fry your hair. So I, once again, just use drugstore. Like, sorry, like my bangs being weird. Okay, I'm just gonna have to like play with them. So this is what they should look like. Like they're bouncy, they're fun. You do not want to add a lot of product to that because it will make them um, fall down. So I, <laughs> this is a holdover from gymnastics when my daughter did um, competitive. This is Tresemme. This is the mega firm control, number five. All day humidity resistance. So I, I actually like really love, I love Tresemme, I don't know, whatever, you can come for me if you want. So I always spray from the bottom. See that? Shake it. Spray it up, bounce it, bounce it, bounce it. Spray, bounce, bounce, bounce. I'm gonna do the other side. Spray. Now guys, I let my curls cool completely before I sprayed them, okay? You want them to be cooled completely. So you can see, they're still very defined. So what you can do, I'll put this down here. Um, excuse like my messy workstation. So again, what I'll do is I just will toss my head upside down and just kind of give it a little shake. Kind of fluff them. So you should be really bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Then you can take your poison of choice and just spray, spraying and spraying my hair. I feel like I'm in the 80s, I need more hairspray. And then I just shake it out, just shaking it out. Okay, so I never feel more crazy than when I curl my hair. And then I'm going to tear the slip and we call this sexy hair. As you will, you'll feel kind of like, you know, way you were meant to be it's beautiful oh that is not beautiful okay that's beautiful though see so you're beautiful you're ready for whatever so in my case i am done with my hair i put my glasses on because i'm like a sexy librarian okay then i put my wedding ring back on my Celtic knot ring back on. My daughter has a matching one. So this is like pretty mom. I have my makeup on, I have my hair done. Um, tell me what you thought in the comments. Is this something that you think you could do? Um, what else do you want me to do to show you? Um, my children are playing Nintendo and on their tablets and they're still in their pajamas. It is um, almost two o'clock in the afternoon. So that's how you get things done.